U.S. President-elect Joe Biden introduced key members of his diverse environmental team on Saturday. He said his incoming administration would make the fight against global warming a pillar of his drive to rebuild the pandemic-hit economy. During an address, he said these nominees will lead the administration's ambitious plan to address the existential threat of this time, which is climate change. Biden-Harris cabinet, it will be historic. The cabinet that looks like America, that taps into the best of America, that opens doors and includes the full range of talents we have in this nation. And like the rest of the team, today's nominees are ready on day one, which is essential because we literally have no time to waste. Michael Reagan would become the first black man to run the Environmental Protection Agency if confirmed by the U.S. Senate. The EPA is once again a strong partner for the states, not a roadblock. We will be driven by our convictions that every person in our great country has the right to clean air, clean water, and a healthier life, no matter how much money they have in their pockets, the color of their skin or the community that they live in. We will move with a sense of urgency on climate change, protecting our drinking water, and enact an environmental justice framework that empowers people in all communities. Meanwhile, Biden has chosen Congresswoman Deb Haaland to serve as the first Native American Interior Secretary. Haaland is a first-term Democrat from New Mexico in the U.S. Congress and a member of the Laguna Pueblo tribe. If confirmed by the Senate, she would become the first Native American to lead a cabinet-level department. The moment is profound when we consider the fact that a former Secretary of the Interior once proclaimed his goal to, quote, civilize or exterminate us. I'm a living testament to the failure of that horrific ideology. Former President Barack Obama's Environmental Protection Agency Administrator, Gina McCarthy, is set to become the National Climate Advisor in the Biden administration. Biden once again assured that he will rejoin the Paris Climate Accord, which President Donald Trump had abandoned, and restore a slew of Obama-era environmental regulations that Trump had eliminated. Biden, who will take oath on the 20th of January next year, has vowed to make climate change a top priority. However, with a slim majority in the House of Representatives and control of the Senate still undecided, Biden's plans to tackle the climate challenge and climate change crisis might face roadblocks in the U.S. Congress. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.